So if you have a weird taste in your mouth and you're not sure exactly where it could be coming from, I want to help you identify the root cause of it. And there's quite a few reasons for this. Number one, it could be oral thrush or candida, which is growing in your mouth. Now, if that's the situation, which can stem from situations where you had antibiotics or you're eating a lot of sugar because candida loves sugar. So number one, you have to get off sugar and refined carbs. So this is what you want to do. You want to take a liquid probiotic, non-dairy, and put a little bit in your mouth, like a little capful, and swish it around your mouth because those microbes will compete with the candida and they will eat up the nutrition in your mouth and cause great difficulty for candida to live. So that would be one thing. Number two, uh, start consuming apple cider vinegar in your water. Um, very important. And make sure some of that gets in your mouth as well, because that acidity can help kill off candida. Sea salt in water. Flush that, rinse your mouth very well. Again, you can, you're can you making an environment that's very difficult for candida to live. But ultimately, you want to work on your gut. You want to really get your diet corrected to get rid of this. It's not necessarily coming because you're not brushing your teeth, okay? All right, next thing is pregnancy. Women that are pregnant, they can notice like a weird taste in their mouth. That usually is a de nutrient deficiency, um, mostly zinc. So make sure you take enough zinc. The, the food that has the highest zinc is oysters, but you can get zinc from red meat and many other foods. All right, number three, menopause. This is the shift in estrogen and that can affect the liver. Uh, what I recommend in this situation is bile salts, which will help the liver detoxify and help get rid of things that can actually create that metallic taste. All right, next one is diabetes, okay? When you have diabetes, a lot of times you have nerve damage and that nerve that affects the taste and the smell can be affected. One of the best remedies is benfotamine, which is a fat-soluble B vitamin that can help restore the nervous system. Okay, so that's what I recommend if you have blood sugar issues. Number five, liver problems. This is probably the most common thing because the liver helps you get rid of toxins. It's not a storage facility for toxins. It just helps you detoxify poisons. So what you want to do is build up the main antioxidant called glutathione. How do you do that? By adding selenium to the diet, by taking milk thistle, by consuming more cruciferous vegetables, and by fasting. Okay, That can get the liver working better so you can get rid of toxic things like heavy metals. Number six, low zinc. I've already mentioned this, but if you don't have zinc, it can really affect your sense of smell and give you a weird taste. Okay, number seven, acid reflux. The acid that comes up from the gut can come up in your mouth and definitely give you a weird taste. If this is the case, there's so many things to do. Uh, apple cider vinegar would be good. Betaine hydrochloride would most likely help, but I put a link down below of what to do if you have that. Number eight, a sinus infection. This can give you a weird taste because you have this post-nasal drip. And um, it might sound like I have a nasal problem, but I don't. It's the mic. This mic makes me sound like I have a nasal problem or deeper voice. I don't because if you hear me in my studio, I don't have that sound. Now for a sinus infection, I've done videos on this. Uh, neti pot type um, nasal rinses are great. Um, but I'm going to put a link down below if you have this because it's more involved and it's not just a quick thing. And number nine, the keto diet. In the transition phase, when you're adapting to keto, there are certain types of ketones that are generated that could start to give you the smell or a taste of acetone, which is nail polish remover. Realize this is temporary. It will go away. It's nothing that's going to be permanent and it's not a bad thing. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. 
But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.